Hey all you data lovers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's install the open source data visualization tool, Metabase. The first thing to be done is the installation of Java. Log into your Ubuntu server and issue the command sudo apt get install default jre y. We'll be using MariahDB as the database server. To install this tool, issue the command sudo apt get install MariahDB server MariahDB client y. Start and enable the database server with the commands sudo system control start MariahDB. sudo system control enable MariahDB. When the installation completes, secure it with the command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. After you've completed securing the database, log in to the MariahDB console with the command sudo mysql u root p. Create the database and the necessary user with the commands create database metabase semicolon. Create user single quote metabase user single quote at single quote localhost single quote identified by single quote password single quote semicolon. Grant all on metabase dot star to single quote metabase user single quote at single quote localhost single quote with grant option semicolon flush privileges semicolon exit semicolon where password is a strong unique password. We finally reached the point where we can install Metabase. The first thing to do is download the metabase.jar file with the commands cd slash temp wget http colon slash slash downloads dot metabase dot com slash v zero dot three four dot one slash metabase dot jar. Next, create a new directory with the command sudo mkdir dash p slash opt slash metabase. Move the .jar file into the new directory with the command sudo mv metabase.jar slash opt slash metabase. Create a new group and user with the commands sudo add group dash dash quiet dash dash system metabase. sudo add user dash dash quiet dash dash system dash dash in group metabase dash dash no dash create dash home dash dash disabled dash password. Metabase. Change the ownership of the Metabase directory with the command sudo chown dash capital R metabase colon metabase slash opt slash metabase. Create a Metabase log file with the commands sudo touch slash var slash log slash metabase dot log. sudo chown metabase colon metabase slash var slash log slash metabase dot log. Create a new environment file with the commands sudo touch slash etsy slash default slash metabase sudo chmod 640 slash etsy slash default slash metabase next we'll create a metabase configuration file for rsyslog with the commands cd slash etsy slash rsyslog.d sudo nano metabase.conf in this new file paste the following colon msg comma contains comma double quote metabase double quote slash var slash log slash metabase dot log ampersand stop restart rsys log with the command sudo system control restart rsys log now it's time to create a systemd file for metabase for this issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash systemd slash system slash metabase dot service in that file, paste the contents shown in the article below. Save and close the file. Reload the system manager with the command sudo system control daemon reload. Start and enable metabase with the commands sudo system control start metabase. sudo system control enable metabase. Now that metabase is up and running, open a web browser and point it to http colon slash slash server ip colon 3000 where server IP is the IP address of the Metabase hosting server. And begin your journey with Metabase. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.